Today, friends, I want to teach you this really swinging repeating lick that sounds great over a 12 bar blues progression. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to be playing the lick over the first four bars of a 12 bar blues progression in the key of C. Check it out. Pretty tasty, right? Well, this very same lick also sounds great played over the last two bars of a 12 bar blues progression using the lick as a turnaround, if you will. Or use the lick to finish your solo in style, like in this next example. Now, how'd you like that? You know, as guitarists, we can never have enough licks to put into our toolbox. And I hope that you'll be able to use this repetitive lick into your playing right away. Now, in case you don't know me, my name is Damian Bocci, and welcome to my back room here in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. Now friends, this repeating lick that I'm teaching you today is movable and it can be played anywhere along the fretboard. Now I'm teaching you to lick in C today, but you can play it down here in A, up here in D. You can play it anywhere you like because it's movable. For example, let me play a quick little solo for you in the key of A. I'm going to throw those repeating licks over the four chord and over the one chord of bar seven. Here we go. Now friends, if you're really digging rockabilly guitar and you'd like to learn more, then I'd like to encourage you to pick up my full-length course called Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar. That's available at my website at DamianBocci.com. All the lessons come with PDF file guitar tabs and backing tracks. The course is available as a download or as a DVD. Ultimate Rockabilly Guitar friends will not disappoint. Now today I'm playing these licks in C. Now I'm sliding in here, but these Four notes of the lick are from the C major pentatonic, or C mixolydian. All right, so let me show you how to play this first example in the key of C over the first four bars of a 12 bar blues progression. All right, so let's learn this. All right, now I'll play it up to tempo for you. Okay, so let me show you the second example where I played the lick over the last two bars of the progression. And I'll be starting at bar nine over the five chord. Let's do it. And now let me play it up to tempo for you. Well, friends, that's all the time that we have for this lesson today. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. If you thought this lesson was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This will keep you up to date on all my newest guitar lessons. And now, friends, before I go, I'd like to leave you with some inspiring words. In life, I understand that we can get hung up on something or on someone. I totally get that. It's hard to let go of things sometimes but take comfort in knowing that time heals most wounds. But friends, the truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you can realize the situation is over, you cannot move forward. And with that, friends, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Much love to you all out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon in another guitar lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.